Obviously, you made out with Tom Schwartz. Um, did you have any apprehensions about doing that in the moment? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? No, none. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you and Tom stand today? We're really good friends. We hang out, um, and uh, he's a great guy. We like, as far as like a romantic thing, um, it was more his decision to like not pursue that. I think Katie had a big reasoning as to why. So I respect his decision, and um, I'm I've gained a really good friendship out of it. You mentioned Katie having an input in, you know, Tom's life, and she's in your friend group. Where do you and Katie kind of stand today? Um, we're not in, we're not on great terms right now, um, but I guess that's to be expected. What is your rose and what is your thorn of the season? Oh, the thorn was Mexico. <laughs> The rose was Ariana and I found a location for our sandwich shop, which we really didn't expect. It was better than we could have imagined. Like it really was like our dream location. So that was the rose. You mentioned Mexico. I would have to assume that has to do with Tom and Raquel. So would it be safe to say that Sheena's wedding was sort of like taken over by the drama that happened between her wedding guests? Yeah. Not again. No. <laughs> Where are you and Tom these days? Um, we're good. Like, at this point, I think we're good. Um, it's just, it's just been a process to find sort of like that foundation of our friendship that makes sense and is healthy for us both and not crossing boundaries. You have to see Raquel all the time. What's the dynamic like with her? I don't know. I don't really pay attention. <laughs> um, James is like riding super hard for you, by the way, and I love that because you guys did not always have the best relationship. Who would have thought, right? I know, I know. But um, yeah, we've like really like come so, so, so far. I mean, he pretty much sabotaged our relationship. So it's shut just, up. I'm just kidding. No, nice. no, okay, no, that's no, a perfect I, scapegoat. I want to, I want to, I want to dispel that that rumor that's from time to time surfaces. It's not true at all. Um, I, I have only me to take accountability, not to blame, but to take an accountability. There's no one to blame. People grow apart. You know what I mean? It happens. That's life. It's healthy. Um, like I always say, I know divorce is sad, but I'm a huge proponent of divorce because I've seen so many times in my short life uh, what it looks like when people stay together who aren't supposed to be together. And it's so much sadder. And I've bared witness to it a lot. And uh, I'm not to say that I'm happy I'm divorced. I just, I'm happy that Katie's happy. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to get happy too now. I'm starting yes. to get my mojo back. Good for you. Okay, so we saw you sort of get your mojo back this season <laughs> in within the cast. Um, do you have any regrets about hooking up with Raquel? Um, it was only a kiss. Uh, I don't regret it. Now, if we want to like get into some of the intricacies, maybe the timing was a little disrespectful. I don't know if that's debatable. Um, doing it at a wedding. Um, I don't want to steal anyone's thunder, but I didn't, in the moment, I was kind of, uh, I was so caught up in my own little world. I wasn't even was the first trip, like, that was the first time in, I don't even know how long that we had really had a chance to like, kind of like let loose and not be thinking about the bar and have it yes. completely hanging over our head. The all consuming bar, which yeah. we love, but you know, that was one of the first times I remember like looking Tom in the eye and like just like not being hyper consumed or neurotic about it, like being in the moment and yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something was in the air. Um, Love was in the air. I'm, 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 I, 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 I regret it in the sense that it hurt some people that I care a lot about, like maybe James and Katie. Um, not so much James, but Katie. You know. Um, but it, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not overly analytical of it or critical. I don't regret it. And uh, it was a great kiss. <laughs> yep. Were you shocked when Raquel kissed Oliver? No. No, I was a champion for that. Yeah, I'm a champion for her. You know? Um, yeah. yeah. 
single person out on a girls weekend in Vegas, like I would expect. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be more upset if she didn't kiss someone. <laughs> yeah. Going into this season, did you anticipate that Raquel would sort of be at the center of a lot of this drama? Did I anticipate it? I mean, I'm pretty intuitive, so it's like, no, I mean, look, I wasn't really worried thinking about what Raquel was going to do this season. I was very, like, you know, I've always been just worried about myself, you know. I want to be working here at Sir uh, and, you know, c concentrating on my relationship. And I'm a very busy DJ, you know, I haven't got time to be thinking about everyone all the time. But I knew it was going to go down and, um, yeah. She certainly spread her wings and flew away, so that's like totally fine. <laughs> so what was your reaction to her hooking up with Schwartz? You're gonna have to watch and see. Did that have anything to do with the drink throwing? Perhaps.